Okay, welcome back. This video here is about this storage box. Uh, let's get it out of the box here and, and see where we're going to put it on the four-wheeler. Well, here it is on the front, and I didn't like it like that. I thought it was just too big and bulky to be on the front of the four-wheeler. Now, how did this clip get in there? Nobody reads directions with this stuff. I'm going to have to talk to the editor. This, this can't be. I don't read directions. So, this four-wheeler that I'm putting this box on is the C-Force 500. It's a 2022. And this box is supposed to fit the 400 and 500 front or rear. So, it says... So the first part of this installation is you put the clips on the back of the rack and you look at the underside of the box to see which way the clips have to face. But uh, you put them on the back of the rack, then you slide the box onto them and that locks the rear. And then you come around here and you put the front pieces in. And uh, I know you can't really see too much detail there, but the camera's going to move and you're going to be able to see just what I'm doing. You know, when you have the parts in your hand, it's pretty self-explanatory. You tighten up the screw in the center, and that actually makes it clamp tight onto the rack. Uh, we'll get through that. Do that. Yeah, this little screw right here, you turn it in and it'll keep this handle from turning. Also, if you get something stuck in there while you're riding, it won't open up either then. So there's plenty of benefits from tightening up this screw. That takes care of that. Now what I should do is take these two off and tighten up the screws in the back. Make sure that they're not going to come off. But I can't even get my fingers in there. They're not going anywhere. It's already getting dirty. So, for anybody that's wondering, just over five and three quarter inches deep here, and then you have a little bit of space up here yet if you're in the center. And this part here is nine and three quarters from here to here. So, you're not going to fit a helmet in here, but a toe strap, a few tools, and a tool bag lunch box a soft side lunch box with some ice in it this does have a drain over here so you know this could potentially be a cooler if that's what you need you know it should be watertight there's no holes in here so this definitely could be a cooler you put your drink in there a couple bags of ice you'll be good to go does have a rubber seal around here to keep the dirt out keep the ice in and your favorite beverage so you know being a mechanic it's it's a um, hard on my mind for me to go out there and not have a couple of tools with me just in case this has a storage compartment down here on the bottom but uh, I have a like a 20 foot toe strap in there right now in here there's not room for much of anything else so 
this is going to be a nice addition here. I'm kind of curious what all these points are for. I guess to put some hooks on here maybe. Yeah, there's little brass threads in there. So I'll have to do a little research and see what they make to go on here. Even if it's just some cargo hooks that you can tie down something on there. But this would be nice to put an extra shirt in, extra pair of pants for when you get in the really deep mud. So just a quick video about uh, my new storage box. Hopefully this helps somebody out. That's what it looks like. You know, I thought I would put it on the front, but it, it looks a little big to be driving around with it on the front of the, the four-wheeler. So it's going on the back. So here's this box after a ride. We took it out this past weekend. It cleaned up really nice. I missed it. I need to rinse a little bit more here, but the dirt came off of this really good with a pressure washer. It cleaned up easier than what these racks do. The, the dirt sticks to the tops of these racks. But this cleaned up really well. It stayed secure. We had a, a little malfunction with a tire, so I had to carry a, a tire repair kit. Carried a little portable air compressor in the back here. We had a soft side cooler with enough water bottles for four people. And, uh, you know, a strap, a, you know, a ratchet strap just in case. And there was still plenty of space left over. And I did see it comes with an extra plug. There was an extra plug laying inside this thing. So th this is the low one. You know, they make one that, that's even bigger. But, you know, for, for what we needed, this was just the right size. It's not too big and bulky. It still had plenty of space. You know, people could carry more clothes. If you plan on really getting muddy, uh, it, well worth the money. So that's my quick little review there. Glad I got that. Came in handy this time. Been wanting it for a while and finally broke down and got it.